Hello and welcome to Glendale Today. I'm Councilmember Bart Turner and I represent the Barrel District here in Glendale, right in the heart of the city. Roughly, Barrel District runs from Northern Avenue to Cactus and on both sides of 59th Avenue. Also right on 59th Avenue is where I am today, here at Glendale Community College, right in the heart of the Barrel District. The college sits on the northwest corner of 59th Avenue and Olive, and if you've lived in Glendale any length of time, you're more than familiar with where the location is. This year, Glendale Community College has celebrated its 50th anniversary. It has two fully accredited campuses and one affiliate, and Glendale Community College serves a diverse student body in northwest Maricopa County with affordable, high-quality education in an engaging and personal academic environment. With over 101 career and technical programs and 18 academic programs, Glendale Community College has graduated more than 500,000 students in its 50 years of being a school. It was in April of 1965 that Glendale Community College broke ground on its first building and began educating students in the summer of 1966. 4,082 students were initially enrolled in the college on the first day of classes, and there were just over 100 members on the faculty. It was in May of 67 that the college held its first commencement ceremony right here on the Center Mall, where 145 students received their degrees. Today, more than 25,000 students are enrolled at Glendale Community College, and more than 900 faculty members are employed here at the school. Today, the main campus operates over 30 buildings, including life sciences, automotive technology, public safety sciences, recreation and fitness, and the performing arts. We'll have the opportunity to visit several of those buildings later in the show, but first we have the privilege of spending a few minutes with the Acting Vice President of Academic Affairs here at Glendale Community College, Eric Lashinsky. Eric, thank you for welcoming us to your beautiful campus today. Well, it's our pleasure to have you here at Glendale Community College. Well, I drive by a lot, and I've, I've been on campus before, but it's great to have a chance to visit with you and to see things close up. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is a 50-year anniversary of, of GCC, and over 500,000 or almost 500,000 students have yes. come through here and gone on to two-year degrees or out into the career world and going on with their lives. Can you share with me some about the difference that the college makes here in Glendale and in these students' lives? Sure, absolutely. You're correct. We're here, we've been here for 50 years, right at 59th Avenue and Olive, and you can tell we've had a large impact on this community. Um, recently, our Institutional Effectiveness Office did a study which looked at the economic impact, and annually, Glendale Community College provides over $200 million of economic growth to the area. That's through the employees that we have on campus, that's through the training that we provide for the local businesses, for the individuals that we're putting into jobs, uh, hopefully high paying jobs, and we're doing our best to support the community in that way. We're also uh, helping individuals do their best to achieve their dreams, whatever that may be. So if their goal is to get a college degree, we're here for them. If their goal is to re-career and find a new pursuit of a profession, we're here for them as well. So we have a tremendous impact on the community and we think across all levels as well. That's terrific. Now, GCC has grown to over 25,000 students. Is there still room for growth? you have room for more students this year? We sure do. Okay. We do have room for more students as well. Now, some of our career and technical education programs are close to capacity, and if that's the case where a student may apply and, and may be placed on a waiting list, we encourage that student, though, to still start with us. They can earn, uh, do their prerequisites, their general education classes here, and then they'll be ready to start the program when space is available. But most of our programs have space available now. So, of course, although we are a large campus, we can always uh, take and, and help more students achieve their goals. Great. Now some of our viewers that maybe attended GCC in the early days think of it more as sitting behind a desk with pencils and listening to lecture. But over the years the learning model here and the teaching model has changed significantly, hasn't it? Absolutely. The learning model has changed. There's been one constant though and that's always the quality of the instruction we provide. But how we deliver that instruction has definitely changed over the years. So we do have still your traditional face-to-face -face classes. Uh, that is still the same. Ideally though those classrooms have solid technology that allows the instructor to create a vibrant classroom environment. But we also have the online class, which I think everyone's familiar with that, where you don't have to physically come to classes. You class, you go online and take your course that way. Wow. And a new delivery model that uh, students may be familiar with the, the, the language of that is called the hybrid or the blended learning model. So imagine a class that would typically meet three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. In the hybrid model, you'll come to class one or two days a week, and that second or third session would then be in the online environment. So we call that hybrid. We offer more of those because it allows the students some flexibility 
flexibility with their schedule. It allows them the ability to pick and choose a schedule, uh, an academic schedule that works for them and allows them to potentially work or take care of their family or, or do what they need to do so they can still meet their academic goals. That's really interesting and I can see how having a variety of opportunities for students just makes it so much easier for anybody, no matter their age, to come back to school and to continue their education. Uh, absolutely. So, now the school obviously has grown uh, plenty over the years in enrollment, but you've also grown in the number of buildings that you have. Um, we've seen this growth uh, even just driving by on the streets. Can you tell us about some of the newer buildings you have here? Sure, absolutely. One building is the one we're in front of right now, Public Safety Sciences. And you can see it houses our EMT and, and fire programs, fire science programs as well. We also, a few years ago, remodeled our Life Sciences building, which houses our nursing department and biology and psychology. We have beautiful simulation labs and classrooms that really help our nurses and other students prepare for the careers that they're going towards. Uh, most recently, we launched our uh, Dr. Philip Randolph Automotive Technology Center, which is a very, very impressive space. We remodeled the existing automotive center. Uh, we did a great job to create a space that rivals some of the dealerships in the area. And the point of that is to be able to train our students to enter into the workforce, which is highly changing with technology. As the cars evolve, our training needs to evolve. And now we have a center that allows us to do that and do it very well. It's a beautiful space. Now, with all the building growth that you've had in the recent past, do you still have plans for more buildings here on campus? We do. We have some expansion plans as well. And the one most notable I'd like to share is with our Veterans Center. Mm -hmm. uh, Glendale Community College is a, designated as a veterans-friendly campus. It's one of a few in the whole state of Arizona that we are definitely a, a place for veterans to come and to get full service for their academic needs, whether that's advisement, whether that's help with their financial aid, whether that's just a little bit of support for coming back and, of course, the academic instruction we offer. Uh, we are soon going to be starting a project to expand our Veterans Center, almost double it in size. We're going to create even more space to, to help our veterans when they come to us so we can meet their needs as best as we can. Well that's terrific and of course veterans are a very important part of our community and we respect the service that they've Absolutely. given to our country and having them come back to school is, is very important in Absolutely. making it easy for them. And so far we've been talking about what you offer for students. But don't you offer some uh, some things for uh, people in the community that maybe aren't actually enrolled in classes? Sure, we, we do. And first of which I'll talk about is our library. We have a beautiful library on, on the main campus here. Uh, an amazing art collection. I'd encourage any community member to come and, and tour our library. We have beautiful art on campus. But any community member can come and use our library. You just need to get a library card. But it is a beautiful library with amazing resources that the community can access. Also, our fitness center programs. We have very vibrant fitness classes that the community takes advantage of. We have an adapted fitness program for those uh, adults who have disability disabilities. We have a, an amazing program that supports their needs. And we have the Silver Sneakers program as well, which is helping adults, again, stay physically active and also form that bonding with the community members as well. And finally, we have a pool. We have a beautiful pool that is being used by members of the community at all levels uh, to both learn how to swim and also some clubs take advantage of the pools as well. Yeah. Well, I actually swam in that pool as a kid okay. when it was new. and. Uh, um, it really is an important thing for yes. the community to have. There's so many ways in which uh, the city of Glendale and Glendale Community College are connected. Is there more that we can do to support you? Sure, I actually think there is. And first of all is to continually be an advocate for public education. As we know across our state there are many uh, challenges we're facing fiscally and one of which is the support of higher education. And Glendale Community College and the Maricop Maricopa Community College as a whole are also uh, in this budget constraints right now. Anything that the community members can do to advocate for public education is always a plus. Um, secondly, I think it's also about the, the culture of what it means to continue your education. We need parents across the whole community to understand that the high school degree, although a wonderful degree, is not the stopping point. That should really be the launching point and that higher education should be that next goal. That it should be the goal of every student in Maricopa County and in Glendale to achieve a degree and hopefully a, a degree from a community college and moving on to university should they choose to do so. And then the final piece I'd say for the community is that uh, it's all about lifelong learning and we are here for you at whatever stage you are in your in your life and so a commitment to lifelong learning is something I'd hope the community can uh, can commit to as well so we can be there for them again at whatever stage of their life well that's terrific let me assure you I appreciate your commitment to <laughs> lifelong learning went sure. back to graduate school not a few, not just but a few years ago myself so sure. that's very important and, and to understand that education is about 
the quality of your life, not just the quality of your job, Correct. but your, your life in its entirety. Correct. Is there anything new, any updates uh, going on right now that you'd like the community to know about? Sure, there's initiatives at Glendale Community College that we're trying to advance, and those are what we call our two plus two partnerships. And it's two plus two in that a student can earn their first two years at Glendale, and the traditional model would be then you continue your next two years at one of the universities. However, we've launched a few programs where students do not need to leave Glendale Community College. They can earn their four-year degree while staying here for their final two years. We're in partnership with Northern Arizona University in relation to our nursing program. We're also in partnership with NAU regarding uh, communication degree that you can do that. And we've launched a new partnership with Western New Mexico University where it's a two plus two where the final two years offered by Western New Mexico but taught here at Glendale in the biotech field as well. So we're definitely uh, expanding our two plus two again to meet the needs of the community where students can then earn their four-year degree while not leaving the grounds of GCC. Wow Eric, you're such a wealth of information about everything that's going on here at GCC. I really appreciate you joining me today. Well thank you very much Good for your point. time as well. Thank you.